serving in Congress is fantastic and it's an honor, but serving in the military uh, blew that away. And uh, I still get to serve in the reserves and in the guard. Um, and so you fly airplanes and it's fun. And, uh, and it's great to serve my country and I just want to say thank you all who have. And especially those of you that were in Vietnam. Um, when I came back, I remember when I came back from Iraq, we landed in uh, Baltimore. And you know, you're just, you're ready to be home. You're ready to have your first beer in a couple months. And, uh, but I remember coming off of the plane and it's like a huge line of people that are just standing there that you're walking through and they're applauding, right? And this is what they did all day long. I mean, they literally would show up at when the first plane was coming in and when the last plane came in, they'd finally leave. But all they did was, was stood there and clapped for the people that served overseas. Now, I say thank you to the Vietnam generation because you guys had the opposite of that. Um, you know, you guys came home to a populace that in some cases didn't appreciate the service, that took their disagreement, maybe it was a legitimate disagreement with the war, and uh, they put that onto you and basically made you the policy makers. And that changed, the fact that that was so bad changed our country for the better in that it will never happen again. And so I always take every effort I can for the Vietnam generation uh, just to say thank you to you guys because you dealt with the brunt of that kind of a homecoming so that we never had to. So uh, I just think that's important to say.